welcome to the course of fundamentals of iot in short fiot in today's session we are going to learn how to install a python software into windows okay so generally a python software can be um, installed into an windows system mac system as well as linux system right now i have only a windows supported system so i will show you how to install a python software uh, into the windows system okay so let's get into the process so what we need to do is you can open any kind of a uh, browser so i will be opening a google chrome browser okay so in the google chrome type python p python okay just type python and press enter okay so once you type the python you can see the first website link over here welcome to python.org okay click on this particular link see you can see a dashboard regarding the python so where you can find about downloads documentation community success stories news events and so on okay you can also donate if you need okay and there is a search button as well okay so as we need to download the software we need to just go to download okay here you can directly see download for windows option and you can see a highlighted button over there so here the version what we uh, can install is python 3.11.3 okay so once you click on this the software uh, package.exe file will be downloaded okay with the help of that we can download or install this python software okay so let's click on this so click this python so you can see this type of file can harm your computer it's it's an as it's an .exe file okay so sometimes it will ask uh, whether to keep the file or discard the file you just keep on keep okay you can trust the file okay so the package will be installed okay so click on that and click open see this is how an installation uh, a window of the python looks okay so it's in 64 bit so you have two options install now with the complete package it includes ideally so direct uh, software icon will be present okay documentation shortcuts everything will be uh, installed in this particular one if you choose customize installation you will be having some sort of options where we can select and deselect the options okay so it's better always to directly install this okay such that uh, my location what it is showing is that directly the software gets installed into the c drive okay so before clicking on this particular install now you can add add python.exe to the path okay it's better to select this it's a recommended option okay so before going to the installation you need to select this add python.exe to the path okay and now just click on install now so you can see the installation process is going on so you can see the green bar over there it's it take couple of minutes to complete the whole process as well see the setup was successful okay what you need to do is once you see this particular a window you can click on close okay now in order to open the window as i've already said we have two methods one is through command prompt and another one is through directly going into the software okay so let me show you how to go through command prompt okay so what i will do is i will type cmd or you will be having directly a command prompt over here okay click on that you can see a command prompt like this okay so first we need to uh, check that particular version or whether the python have been installed or not okay so what we need to do is just type python space hyphen hyphen version okay and press enter you can see python 3.11.3 .3 has been installed into the system okay that's why it is showing this particular python with some version okay now what we need to do type py 
and press enter. So see. Okay. So this is the py python version. Okay. On Windows 32, it will be showing some related options as well. Okay. So let's try uh, whether this particular Python uh, editor using command prompt is working perfectly or not. Okay. So what I will be doing is I will be using a print function print. Okay. Open braces in the quotes. Okay. So what I will be doing, I will be typing a name Aviteja Creative Catchers. Let's see. It should print now. Okay. So let me enter. See. Aviteja Creative Catchers has been printed on the display. This is how uh, we can execute the files using several functions as well as commands in the uh, Python uh, with respect to command prompt. Okay. Let me close this command prompt. Now I will be showing how to directly use this particular Python. So we have already installed all right. E -Y -D -H -O -N. So see here I have the application. So let me open the Python. This is direct opening the python directly see okay so let me try with the print function print print braces with quoted text let me type with uh, creative Catchers. It need to display down. Let's see. So press enter. See. Even if I am directly using the Python software, ideally it is showing, right? Okay. This is how it can be done. Both command prompt as well as you can directly open through the software. Okay. So this is how uh, and software should be installed into the Windows system. Thank you. Mm -hmm.